Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I have this new RC car, 114 scale, by a new company. They say they're new. Maybe they've been around for a while, but to me they're new. And they say this car is one of the best cars you could possibly buy for the price. And let me tell you why. I've never seen this before in any car I've ever tested. This bottom, look at, can you see what the light? It's all carbon fiber, it's not metal. Sometimes you get plastic, sometimes you get metal but I've never seen carbon fiber. So it's carbon fiber all along the bottom. And of course, inside is carbon fiber as well. You've got like, uh, can you see it there? See these little standoffs are in the posts right here at the back and at the front, that's all carbon fiber as well. Very different. Shocks up front are oil filled, lots of suspension. This bumper was an aftermarket thing. They sent it to me because they say that this goes extremely fast. They say on the included, the battery is included, on the included 2S battery, you can go 70 kilometers per hour. If you put a 3S battery, you can go up to 90 kilometers an hour. If you put a 4S battery, you can go over 100 kilometers per hour, but they tell me the engine will start to smell like it's burning, probably because it's burning. It does come with a remote as well, and as I said, the battery's included. Let me take off the top and tell you a bit more about the insides. Here we have the interior, and you can see the carbon fiber goes right from this side to this side. It's one whole piece along the bottom. So I believe the motor is, well, it's a brushless motor, but I think it's 3200 kV. I think it's a 45 amp ESC. And I believe the distance you get with this to the car is 150 meters. I'll put what that is in feet up there. So it's it's quite a distance because the car is only 114 scale. So when you get far away, uh, you want to keep it in view. So in this test, what I'm going to do is see how it runs on the 2S. And then I'm going to see how fast I can get it go on 2S. And I did bring a 3S battery and we'll try it on 3S as well and see how it goes so let's go check this out oh and i guess i should say the company's name so the company's name is written right here i didn't say it because i can't pronounce it but look at how it's written there's the letters right there i'm gonna phonetically pronounce it help me out in the comments below and tell me how i should be saying this so it's r-l-a-a-r-l-o so phonetically that would be arlerlo 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 I don't know, help me out, post update. All right, let's go try this out. All right, so I've got the car and I've got the battery and the controller. I just have to put the battery in, power everything on and we'll go. So let me bring it close and show you everything. This is the battery you get with the car. It is a two cell battery and it should last you. I don't know what the runtime is because since it goes pretty fast, it'll probably burn it up pretty quick, but we'll see out here. I'm also gonna do a speed test with this two cell. You can see here that the battery has a Dean's connector because there's a Dean's connector on the car. Uh, I have some other batteries with adapters that go to XT60 to Dean so I can plug XT60 batteries into the Deans. Here the battery is securely attached and to power on the car now, first thing I do is take the remote, power that on. There's a button back here, it should be on. Yeah, I see the green light flashing. So on the car, there's a little button, uh, where are you? Right up here, hit that. And there we go, comes to life. And we're all ready to go. Oh, the sun is going out. Got some power, brakes. Yep, let's uh, try it out here. All right, I wanna see how it goes because I have no idea how this car drives. You do have all the normal controls up here to set all your trims and get your steering correct and whatever. So I'm just gonna calibrate it right now. Take it nice and slow. I've got a super wide turning radius, that's for sure. Wow. So here we go. This is really slow I'm going now. Pick it up speed. Whoa, go around that camera. This is gonna go pretty fast. You know, on the 2S, it does seem like it's peppy. It's got power. It's a very smooth uh, acceleration. When you get on the throttle, it's nice and smooth. Very easy to drive as I smash into my camera. I can tell right now it's pretty darn decent. Uh, we should do a speed test, but let me just see if it goes straight. A lot of cars you get out of the box, you have to do the little adjustments up here. So I'm just gonna take it this way. Let me come back a bit, get the reverse going. The reverse is really nice because they made the reverse nice and slow so you could control it. There we go. All right, so my goal is to go straight to see how straight it goes. Here we go. Oh my God, it tracks really well. Oh my God. This is a joy to drive. Anybody could drive this car. I try the brakes. Look at that sliding out. Okay, let's do a speed test. For the speed test, I have my GPS here. What is this thing called? Performance Analyzer by SkyRC. I'll put a link below if you don't have one of these and you want to get one. I'm way over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Velcro it to the top so it stays on. I guess I could Velcro it any place, but I'll stick it on the top. You connect to it with your phone and it will turn on automatically and it should get satellites. So I have to pick the one I'm using. I think it's the GNS Performance Analyzer. There we go. Yeah, it's on. I see the lights. It says Bluetooth. The power's on. On my screen, I have something called Drag, Track and Flying. So 
Drag, I don't think we need that. We definitely don't need flying, but I could do track. Let's try track, see how that works. So if I go start, uh, there we go. It's ready to go. So it's at zero kilometers per hour. So I'm just gonna put this down here. I'll drive it really fast up and down and we'll get the top speed. Here we go. So this is with the 2S battery, here we go. Well, we know the range is good. All right, let's bring the car back and uh, let's see what the GPS said. So now I'm gonna hit stop and I wanna hit read. What did it say? I got up to 59 kilometers per hour. So that's the top speed I could get. And what I did is I drove the car in a straight line right to the very end down there. So I don't think I can get much faster than that on the 2S. I'll try one more run. Okay, one more run. I'm gonna do a shorter one though. Come on over here. All right. So we gotta beat the last speed. I doubt if we will. Here we go. I tried to do a, a takeoff with full speed. It's got too much power. It won't do it. You have to start off slow. So here we go. Here we go. And bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. And there we go, full speed. And we're gonna come back full speed. Oh, that's fast. All right. I don't think we would have beat our speed on the 2S here. Let's go over to my phone, see where we're at. Okay, so I hit stop and then I go read. 61, ha, huh, I lied. We got up to 61. So I think it is possible on the 2S to get up to 70, but you need a long stretch. Uh, I've done it twice now and I've gone almost to the end. I can't go any farther, so I, I'm not gonna get that speed. The next thing to do is put a 3S battery in here and see what we can get for a speed. Unfortunately, I'm running out of pavement, so I'll never get up to the top speed, but we'll see if the 3S can make it go faster in the shorter run, thus getting it up past 70 kilometers per hour. So let's try that. So this is the 2S battery it came with, and this is the 3S battery I'm gonna try right now. You see, there's a big problem. Look at the 2S battery, how thin it is. And look at the 3S battery, it's uh, a lot thicker. But the cool thing is this 2S battery does not have a high C rating, whereas this 3S battery designed for drones, <laughs> FPV drones, has 120 C. So in other words, as soon as this thing wants power, it's immediate with this battery. So I've got to squish this battery inside here and then take it for a spin. Here we go. So I just want to show you, this is how I stuffed that 3S battery in. It's like really stuffed in there. I don't know, can you see that? It's not bad though. So if you fly FPV drones, you probably have a ton of these batteries. It's a 1500 and uh, it works quite well. Turn it on, 3S. All right, tons of power now. Woohoo! As long as she doesn't burst out in flames, we're good. We're going to go track again. I'm going to hit start and uh, we're all set, just put my phone down. Okay, once again, I'll take it slow and I'll try to stop it before it crashes into the field at the end. Here we go. Let's go over here. It's on 3S, here we go. Whoa, that's fast. Whoa, it did a huge cartwheel. Is it still going? Okay, the moment of truth after that cartwheel. I'm gonna hit stop and I'm gonna hit read. 86 kilometers per hour on a 3S. So that means easily you could get uh, you know, 90 kilometers an hour. I just want to show you, it did a cartwheel and look at this, look at this. Look at my GPS. The GPS, can you see it up top? The GPS up top is just totally scraped uh, because it went whoo, 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 and landed that way. Everything else is pretty good though. Yeah, everything's good. Got the little wheelie bar at the back. Everything's really good. Okay, I'm gonna put a DJI Action 2 uh, camera. It's just double-sided tape on top. So let me turn it on and give you some footage. I still have the 3S battery in here. I can't go full blast because if I crash, it's gonna destroy the camera and everything else. All right, I'm gonna give you a good example of the speed. Let's drive this around. Put some music to this. Now, one thing cool about this car, I noticed, you can do uh, drifting because the more power you give it when you're turning, it just, the tail end and the front wheels will slide out. So you just control the power you're giving it to do your drifting. All right, the next thing to show you with this little baby is what comes in the box. Check this out. 
This is the box your RC buggy comes in. Inside the box you're going to find your RC buggy plus mini accessories. The tires are nice and grippy and soft and you also get a wheelie bar on the back just in case you do some wheelies. The shell is covered in protective plastic that you can remove if you wish. The entire car is mostly constructed of carbon fiber, metal and plastics. The ESC is cooled by a fan. The included 2 cell LiPo battery does come with a USB battery charger. The included remote even comes with some instructions for beginners if this is your first RC car and also it has all the functions you need to trim the car out to get it to drive perfectly. Finally, you will need to supply three AA batteries not included. A user manual is included that will tell you everything you need to know about the car. Please note that my car also came with an accessory kit and these are all the items in the accessory kit. I do not know if the accessory kit is included with the car. If it's not, then I highly suggest you pick one up. You know, they do sell a version of this with metal on the bottom and metal parts, uh, and that's less. So they told me they're selling this for like $199 US. That is amazing for this. That, that's a super awesome price. I really like this car. I think I'm gonna hang on to this one because it's small form factor, but man, does that boogie. So when I go out to the field and I'm flying planes and drones and everything else with the guys, we always bring RC cars. We have a parking lot to race around in. This thing is going to be a lot of fun to race there. So I will definitely keep this and uh, go racing in the parking lot and have a blast. So that's pretty much it. It concludes my review. I am going to put links to this baby below. Uh, I'll put a link to my DJI Action 2 because I use that. I'll put a link to my Sky RC GPS that is totally scratched up. Well, that doesn't look new anymore. And if I can, I'll put a link to a 3S battery in case you want to run it on 3S. Once again, it sounded like I was joking. They did say you could run it on 4S but I don't think they really advise it. I think, I think you'll burn the motor out. You could do 4S, but I think you'd burn the motor out pretty darn quick and you'd have ridiculous, ridiculous speeds, like over hundred kilometers an hour. So with all that said, I really enjoyed this car and I think you will too. So go check out the links and see if it's the car for you. And please somebody tell me how to pronounce this name correctly. All right guys, catch you in the next video. If you have any questions on this here car, just post them below and I'll get back to you. But uh, until then, I'll see you then, bye.